Hello and welcome. So in this video tutorial, we will try to understand briefly about Detectron 2 and the number of advanced computer vision tasks it can perform, for example, from object detection to panoptic segmentation. So without wasting any time, let's dive in. So first of all, what the heck is object detection and why it is considered to be the most important task in computer vision? So before that, we will understand what objective, what object localization is. So object localization is basically finding what and where a single object exists in an image. And therefore, object detection is finding what and where multiple objects are in an image. Okay. So there is a different object localization is for a single object and whereas multi uh, and whereas object detection is for multiple objects in the image. Okay. Now, how does object localization work? As we are fami familiar with image classification tasks that in which we pass an image through a convolution neural network and extracts meaningful encodings of the images. For example, consider a cat or dog classifier. Now in the output, we will have a neuron giving us probability like it is 69% dog or 21% uh, uh, cat, all right? So now apart from this, one or two neuron, uh, one or two output neurons, which is giving us probability, we will have four additional output neurons for bounding box coordinates like x1, y1, which are the upper left corner points, x2, y2, which are the bottom right corner points of the bounding box, okay? So for example, consider this image uh, and only consider the laptop bounding box, okay? So we will have one output for the laptop category and four other output neurons for the bounding box coordinates, right? x1, x2, y1, y2, all right? So we use categorical cross entropy laws for our categories like dogs and cats or laptops in this case. And for bounding box coordinates, we can use mean squared error loss, okay? Now we did all of this for a single object in an image, uh, that is object localization. But now how do we generalize this for multiple objects in an image? That is object detection. Now there are many ways to tackle this problem and I will tell some of the most common ones in brief and I won't be going into much detail. So we have the first one as sliding window technique, okay? So in this we basically define a fixed box and iterates or slides it over the image and in each iteration we try to find the object with a greater confidence okay as you can see this is the fixed box we have defined and this box slightly moves in the right direction and then to the left okay and then similarly it tries to capture each window and tries to classify whether the object contains in that particular box or not okay and then outputs the corresponding bounding box coordinates but there are many disadvantages like it is really inefficient and requires a lot of computations. And those fixed boxes may have downsides because objects can have small and large dimensions. And also we will get many bounding boxes for a single object because it can detect a part of an object in the image and produce low confidence bounding boxes, which can be dealt with the help of non-maximum suppression technique, which we will discuss later. And the next approach is region proportional network. So in this, we pass an image and an algorithm called selective search predicts some regional proposals which are potential objects in the image and then resize these region proposals and feed them through a convolutional neural network which acts as a backbone like VGG or ResNet and then classifies the object. This process is still so slow and it is a two-step process. Okay, So suppose we have an image here uh, with the dimensions 380 cross 480 and then we feed this image into a convolution neural network which extracts useful encodings and then we apply convolution feature maps which actually predicts uh, whether the object where in the image potentially be right where the object can be in the image so that produces some regional proposals so to conclude object detection is basically image classification plus localization of that classification that is for single object and then finally object detection that is doing object localization for multiple objects in the image so this was a quick introduction to what object detection is and how it works also let's talk about some segmentation techniques all right the first one comes is semantic segmentation in this we assign a class label to each pixel in an image okay so each class will have unique uh, color you can say next we have the instance segmentation we assign each pixel to a class label, but treat each individual object as an instance of a class. All right. 
and another one we have a panoptic segmentation in panoptic segmentation it is a combination of instance segmentation and semantic segmentation where each pixel has two class values that is group class and object class so now let's get back to detectron 2 and its implementation detectron 2 is facebook ai research next generation library that provides state-of-the-art detection and segmentation algorithms it is a successor of detectron and mass rcnn benchmark it supports a number of computer vision research projects and product app production applications in facebook so it is basically a set of multiple techniques that perform different functions for example one technique when technique generates the boxes of the objects present in the image or video and another technique determines the instance segmentation of the objects for example we can see in this image that this is our backbone that is resnet or any dense net and then each suppose we have four techniques so each technique will produce uh, different functions right for example one technique will produce the bounding boxes that is the basic object detection and the other technique will produce the masks like mask rcnn and the others for key point other for dense post and the last one is for semantic segmentation and the combination of this mass key point dense post uh, results in the panoptic segmentation all right which is a combination of semantic and instant segmentation so these techniques which i just talked about are rcnns right which are used which uses mask rcnn faster rcnn and fast rcnn for object detection tasks rpn region proposal networks it acts as a backbone to a detectron 2 like this is the backbone for our detectron 2 algorithm also dense post it helps in semantic and instant segmentation with mapping of points from two dimension to three dimension human body so now enough with the theory and explanation now let's get back to the implementation now we are going to perform object detection instant segmentation key points detection and panoptic segmentation using the detectron to pre-trained ways all right so this is the notebook i have right now in front of me so for a basic inference with pre-trained detectron 2 model you uh, you can use this notebook i will provide the link in the description of this video okay just run the cells and you can try it yourself and experiment with it so first we will install the dependencies and make sure we will require the torch 1.8 version because it is not right now compatible with the point uh, 1.9 version of torch okay so now uh, i have downloaded and installed the necessary uh, packages next step is to install the detectron 2 library onto the collab session now it will tell you to restart the runtime so please do so in order to make things work cool so next step is to import the necessary libraries and make sure the torch is of version 1.8 next is some basic detectron 2 setup which defines which which is just importing some necessary uh, libraries and functions in order to set up a basic uh, configuration for detectron 2. next step we will download the image and display the image that on which we are going to uh, perform multiple uh, techniques okay using the detectron 2 pre trained model So this is the image on which we are going to apply some computer vision advanced techniques using the Detectron 2. Next is to uh, write a configuration for object detection for Detectron 2. So this is just four lines of uh, configuration uh, code used for Detectron 2. Okay, you just copy and paste this code. So this will create a configuration for Detectron 2. Next, uh, for object detection task. Also, you can visit this link for more information about these models names like they have given all here this one retina net rpn and fast rcn and all okay so next is to actually detect uh, the objects using the default predictor of detectron 2 using the pre-trained bits of course So now it is downloading some model and now applying the detections so here we have object objects in the image using the detectron 2 
and we can say it is quite accurate all right it is even detecting for people in uh, beside the tree cool and but definitely this is not a person right but yeah it's pretty cool it, it has detected over 90 percent of the people so next step is to go over the instance segmentation okay the configuration and the prediction code is the same we just have to replace the model name okay we, i'll just run this really fast So this is the instance segmentation result. We can clearly make out that yes, it is, it has uh, performed really good on the instance segmentation tasks and has detected each and every object and applied a mask. Cool. Next is e point detection using detect point two. Again, just replace the model name and the configuration code will be the same. And guys all all this uh, notebook will be given in the description of this video okay so yeah we can see that the key points are really accurate on this image too cool and we are getting around 90 95 plus accuracies on each energy apart from this man okay so yeah it really works cool you can also find it on your data and i will make a tutorial on uh, training on custom data really soon Next is the last, that is the panoptic segmentation using detectron 2. Okay, so the same configuration and the same prediction code. Cool. So this is what panoptic segmentation looks like. So as I said earlier, that panoptic segmentation is a combination of both. Uh, instance segmentation and semantic segmentation so you can see it has a combination of both and again it has performed really good that you can see it is a tree here person horse fence dirt etc cool so this is just a sample of running panoptic segmentation on a video actually i have uh, copied this from the uh, audio their original implementation detectron detectron's true official implementation so they had provided a method on which we can run panoptic segmentation on a video okay so i won't run this right now but you can experiment it on your own so yeah that was it for this tutorial and i hope you liked it